Hello, I'm back with another update on my Ben Eater inspired 8-bit breadboard computer. So since I posted a video yesterday, I've gone back through and cleaned up all that wiring that I was talking about. It's not really as nice as I would like it to be. Um, there's actually a few places on this breadboard that I wish I were better able to make nice wiring, like up here around the ALU. It just looks kind of trashy to me. Although I will say, like as I went forward through the build, I do think that the wiring got better, and I, you know, the ALU was fairly early on. Anyway, one of the other things I'm doing, I'm putting this just piece of paper over top of the LED display because I'm uh, noticing in the video playback that I'm getting a lot of light bleed off the LEDs, and I can't really control these other ones, but at least this one I can do something about it. Anyway, so Ben Eater posted today the uh, reset switch, which was a awesome update and I was really glad to have such a thing because you know trying to identify maybe any problem on my system would be made much easier by being able to run a program multiple times without having to shut it off and reprogram it every time. So the first thing I'm going to do I'm just going to demonstrate that. Um, I've got the standard 14 plus 28 program loaded up. You can see the answers here so I'm just going to reset and hopefully it'll work. And the other thing I noticed, there's that 47 again. I'll actually comment on that here in a minute. But uh, one thing I noticed that it was as a nice side effect of this update is that now when I boot up the breadboard computer, it defaults to all zeros, which I just prefer. I'm not sure that it really makes a difference, but it was coming up as 255 before. And I don't know why that was, and I don't know why adding this reset changed it so that it now defaults to zero, but that's a good update. One assumption I guess I could make is that the reset is pulling something low that was previously being pulled high. Don't really know why. But about that 47, I've noticed when I reset the uh, the breadboard computer, and in fact, I'm gonna walk around to the other side so that I don't have to reach across the camera. Give me one second. So, now the audio sounds like it's on the other side because it is, but when I hit the reset, it doesn't always come up with 47 on that uh, when it's doing the add instruction. See, that time it did. There it halted. And I just it's It seems somewhat random to me, but I'm hoping... Yeah, see, there it completed a full cycle without showing that 47 on the output display, and I'm really at a loss on that one. And that actually brings up a point... Somebody commented on the last video that uh, the 47 can come from a bad programmed EEPROM, from bad contact from the breadboard to the chip when you programmed it. I, I pulled the chips off and I went back through and checked all the, checked everything, and um, they, I'm confident that they are programmed correctly. And also, I've actually watched my own video back at kind of frame by frame, and I was noticing that when that 47 comes up, the the output in it's not on so there's no reason why that should be going that 47 should be going out to the uh, should be going on to the output display so yeah it's it seems kind of random um i'm not sure why see there that time it came out and then if i reset see if it comes out this time yeah, and that time it didn't. And I don't even I don't even think it's the case that it's like every other time. Yeah, that's not the case because you know that's two consecutive times where I'm not getting that 47. Anyway, last thing I'll say, um, Brad S commented on one video, he said that uh, earlier I mentioned that I'm using 373s because they latch data on the rising edge. I think you must be commenting on my video in response to a different video that you watched. I'm sure I never said that. I, I honestly, I, I didn't even know that was the case, so there's no way I could have said anything like that. Um, anyway, so that's uh, my update for today, and this was an awesome update, and I'm looking forward to uh, another video by Ben so we can get into doing some more um, instructions on the EE problems. I can probably figure out how to add a couple on my own. But um, once again, you know, if anybody has any thoughts on that 47, I, I mean, I'd like to hear about it. I, I checked the EE proms, and 
um, and I, I mean, I know where the 47 is coming from. It's, it's, it's coming from one of the instructions while the instruction is being put onto the bus, but I, there's no reason that I can see why that 47 would appear on the output, and it's only that one instruction. You'll notice, like, when I reset, there's all kinds of things going out to the bus, but it's, you know, like the, uh, when the number transfers, the, the 14 transfers to the A register, that 14 sits on the bus. And when the 28 transfers to the, reg, uh, to the other register, it, that sits on the bus, and those don't go out to the output display. So why is it that it's just that instruction, 47, that goes to the output display? I mean, that is just baffling to me. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed this update, and I'll see you next time.